Good morning to the rise. Blessing to the awakening. Uh, St. Martin always has a wind. There's always wind blowing across this uh, island. Uh, ever since we've been here, consistently all day, every day, it gets stronger at nighttime. I mean, you're all, you will always have a wind here on this island, which is actually not a bad thing. It seems like it keeps the bugs down. I uh, haven't really experienced too many bugs at all, actually. Uh, whether we're on the beachfront or we're in town or, or on the other side of the uh, island, we haven't experienced any type of bugs, any insects or anything, uh, which is a blessing. Uh, but always bring your always bring your spray, your bug spray, just in case, you know, just in case. So you may ask if I would come back to St. Martin. Yes, I would come back to St. Martin. St. Martin is a place I would definitely uh, revisit. Uh, like I said, it's my first time here on this Caribbean island, uh, but it will not be my last. I experienced many Caribbean islands. Probably got at least 20 underneath my belt. Uh, so, you know, this is one of the top three. Um, I would definitely revisit. I think my best islands are Caymans and Turks and Caicos. Those are my two favorite islands that I like to visit. Um, along with Hawaii. I do like Hawaii, uh, preferably the big island of Hawaii. Um, those will be my top three choices of any islands that I ever visited. Uh, the Caymans, Turks and Caicos, and Hawaii. Uh, if I had to rate them one, two, three, I'm going to put Hawaii last. I'm going to put Turks and Caicos first. And I'm going to put the Caymans at number two. Um, so those will be my top three islands. But I would definitely put this on the map as maybe like a fourth. Um, to come back and revisit. The people seem to be pleasurable. Uh, we had we had decent experience. We actually very good experience with the. These are probably the best. The people here are probably the best that we've ever experienced anywhere. Actually, <laughs> uh, so that's like they they hold the number one spot for that. They definitely hold the number one spot for being um, the hospitality is just impeccable. Yeah, the hospitality is impeccable for what they for what they give and, and, and the vibe that you feel from them. It's 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 unreal. It's unreal. Um, if, if people were like this in the whole world, the fucking world would be a pleasurable place to be. Uh, anywhere you go, right? From the backwoods of Alabama to, you know, inner, inner city New York. Um, but unfortunately it's not. So, but this place right here will give you a vibe that you probably will never ever experience ever in your fucking life. Um, yeah, the people everywhere are just pleasurable. I can't say so much for the tourism, for the tourists. Uh, because you know tourists are tourists uh, they come from they come from those spots those Alabama spots and everything so um, yeah uh, there's a lot of people from different parts of the world you hear a lot of different languages uh, people from all over right people from all over um, you can use cash here they do take a US uh, dollars um, with no problem they'll give you back US dollars with no problem um, but of course you know your credit card your debit cards they work as well um, but anywhere that you travel, you always want to keep currency with you. <clears throat> Especially if you can keep like uh, low amounts of uh, uh, a currency. Your fives, your tens, some ones, something that you can exchange, something that you can give tips easily. Um, yeah, you don't want to come with big dollar bills. I mean, not unless you're trying to spend money. They got their shops down in the city. They got their Gucci, their Prada. I mean, there's, there's places you can go. There's different islands you can venture off to. You can catch ferries over to. Uh, experience including the Saint Saint Martin. I think Saint Bart is where a lot of the rich and famous go. That's where they have homes at. Um, if you like to do shopping and ball out, go right ahead. Uh, do your do your thing. Uh, that's not for me. I don't come to islands and shit to shop. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just not me. Do I shop? Yes, but do I come to islands and specifically come here and just spurge and ball out? Nah, I'd rather see things and do things within the island that I can't experience back at home. I can do that shit at home. Uh, go, to the, go to the store, shop online. But to some people, that's what they like. So I'm not gonna knock you. Uh, do your thing. But as for me, like I said, for me, that's not for me. Uh, I wanna come and enjoy this shit right here, right? So that's what I want to come and enjoy. Right? Come out here in the morning and just take it all in, especially for my last night, leaving up out of here. Um, yeah, they didn't have much for us. Um, so that would be my only thing for those that 
are not meat eaters. For this hotel, this resort, the Ocean Divvies, you may have a problem. Um, like I said, there are some Caribbean restaurants within the city, uh, which we'll actually go to today before we head on out and jump to the airport, uh, just so we can get us some Aito food, you know, Aito food for the road, because we won't get back to the States until late tonight. Uh, that flight that we're traveling on, it's a late flight, uh, leaves out of here late, and gets back to the state side, gets back to the state side late. So, um, like I said, Oceans of Divvies, it's a beautiful place though. Um, and there's different hotels. There's only so many resorts that are all inclusive here on this island from what we've seen. Uh, maybe like a handful of resorts that are actually all inclusive. Um, so that's another thing too. It only gives you a small selection of hotels that you can actually choose from. Um, you know, there's not a large selection of hotels that you can actually choose from. And I think this is the off season right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the first quarter of the year, I think it's off season, but the weather's beautiful. Uh, the hotel wasn't overly crowded. Uh, there wasn't, you know, a lot of people everywhere, which I don't like. I don't like being around a lot of people. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not out here fish hunting. So if I was out here fish hunting, it'd be a different story because that's what I'd be looking for, some, some fish in the uh, ocean. But I'm not out here fish hunting. So having a lot of people is not something up my alley. Uh, I, want, I want that calm relaxation when I'm, when I'm sitting back, trying to relax, right? Catching the ocean, catching the sound, catching the breeze. You know, I want to relax. I don't want to be consumed by a bunch of god darn people all over the place, all on top of you, stepping on you and everything. That's just not how I like to, how I like to do things. So, uh, as of right now, like I said, this is off season. Uh, you know, it's winter time in the States. It's beautiful down here in the Caribbean. So for those that want to get away from that cold weather in the States, you know, come on down. Come on down in the Caribbean right now. Uh, the prices are fairly reasonable for the, for the hotels and the uh, stays. Um, and you can, you can make it happen. You know, you can make it a weekend thing or you can make it a, a whole week thing. Um, and you know, you, you got to plan ahead. Just make sure whenever you're booking tickets for flights, Make sure you book your tickets for a flight early. You know, you always want to get your tickets for a flight early because the, the rates are going to be a lot cheaper. Uh, and I'm talking early. I'm talking several months out. I'm talking several months out. You know, maybe four or five months out if you can plan that far ahead. Uh, you definitely want to try to book your tickets for a flight early. Because the, the sooner you wait, the, the more expensive the price of the ticket is going to be. So, so to save that money, um, like I said, plan ahead. Yeah, plan ahead is key. That's a key thing that you actually want to do. Because that can be a large part of your budget. A large part of your budget. A large part of your budget actually could be just that, the, uh, the tickets for your flight. Um, and then you can spend that money somewhere else. You know, you can spend that money shopping. You can spend that money on excursions. Uh, you can spend that money on a better hotel. So, like I said, plan ahead. But as of right now, first quarter of the season, first quarter of the year. Uh, the hotel, the resort fees, accommodations are cheap. Uh, they're actually reasonable. Uh, so like I said, off season here in the Caribbean, cold as shit, stateside, come on down in the Caribbean and enjoy some of this beautiful weather, warm weather. Uh, but it's been it's, it's been warm down here since we got here. It's been 80, like I said, it's been like 80 degrees since we got here. Uh, the sun comes up quick. It comes up around 6 o'clock-ish. Uh, the sun sits around 7 o'clock p.m. somewhere around there. Uh, but when it comes up, it comes up quick. And when it goes down, it goes down fast. So, but enjoy it when you can. And uh, that's what I'm doing. But the weather here is gorgeous. Uh, beautiful weather so just want to say good morning good rise good awakening bless journey of kings like share subscribe we're gonna walk the grounds a divvy bay ocean resort so that's all the hotel down there all that that you see that's all the hotel all this is the hotel right this is all the hotel. That's actually the restaurant right here. So this is the restaurant, the main restaurant. Uh, but it goes all the way down. This is about the end of, 
ocean divvies right here. So starting there, going all the way around, you got a restaurant, you got a bar right here. You got a main restaurant right here. And you got more hotels here. Same, same, same company. And it goes all the way around to the tip of this. To the tip of it right here. That's all Ocean's Dibbies right here. So they own all this property, right? So you got everything from bungalows to one bedrooms to studios to two bedrooms. Uh, and eventually along this beach right here, they will actually set up, they'll set up all their chairs all along this beach. This is how you see them chairs right there. Those people on Saturday chairs. Um, yeah, that's what you'll get. So they'll have that lined up all the way down. Uh, only after they cleaned the beach, which they did already. They actually came through and they actually cleaned the beach. So guys are out here setting up right now. They're setting up their tents and their umbrellas and uh, getting ready for all the folk to come out here and uh, enjoy, the, enjoy the atmosphere. So you got somebody up here sitting down eating. Um, so let's walk out towards the front of Ocean Divvies. And let me show you what the front is like. So this is their pool area here. This is their pool area. They got multiple pools. This pool. You got this infinity pool. Right. So it's actually pretty nice. Guys are out here cleaning right now. They got a little pizza shop, sliced pizzeria. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, it didn't look it didn't look uh, appetizing when I looked at the pizza coming out of the oven. But people have been there. People have been there eating it a lot, so I just wouldn't recommend it, at least for my liking. Yeah, at least for my liking. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Oui. Morning, brother. Morning, morning, morning. My brother. So here's the other pool. Oh, they even got a jacuzzi joint. So they even got your jacuzzi, right? So they got a couple of infinity pools. Nice five feet deep. Guys are out here trimming and pruning. Pruning all the bush. So they got guys out here doing the yard work, maintenance. So, yeah, they doing maintenance. 